This is Radio Yugoslavia's English language service broadcasting to Europe on 6,100 and 6,185 kilohertz. North America on 9,580 and 11,870 kilohertz. And Africa on 9,720 kilohertz. Good evening and welcome to my series in Belgrade. We begin our program with the news. A contact group for Bosnia is scheduled to meet in London tomorrow on the political director's level, the British Foreign Office Tom Tanyuk. The basis for the contact group's work tomorrow will be Bill's report on his talks, the Serbian President Slobodan Milosevic, and the peace initiative being launched by the international community in cooperation with the government in Belgrade. Russian Foreign Minister Andrei Kozirev departed from Belgrade this morning where he had informed Serbian President Slobodan Milosevic about the results of the contact group for Bosnia's ministerial meeting held in London. Prior to his departure, Kozirev expressed Moscow's and Yugoslavia's firm stand that the Bosnian conflict could be solved only by peaceful means. I was once again assured that the Serbian President and leadership are still in favor of a peaceful policy, said Kozirev. The Russian foreign minister underlined that he and President Milosevic shared a mutual stand that there could be no artificial standstills in political negotiations carried out on the basis of the conflict group plan, which was also President Yeltsin's message. According to Kozirev, it is necessary to lift the sanctions against Yugoslavia, and the conflict group has made a mistake in only part leaving the sanctions, thus missing the opportunity to solve the conflict by political means, the result of which is the continuing tragedy. The logic implying a military solution and an ultimatum in the Bosnian crisis is not convincing, according to Russia's assessment, because there is no military solution, concluded Russian Foreign Minister Andrei Kozirev. Russian Foreign Minister Andrei Kozirev's visit to Belgrade came at the right moment, after the London conference and before the announced military actions in Bosnia by NATO forces. Yugoslav Foreign Minister Vladislav Jovanovic said today in his assessment of Serbian President Slobodan Milosevic's meeting with the Russian Foreign Minister. Jovanovic emphasized that Russia was and is the chief advocate of a political solution to the crisis and that it is opposed to any kind of military actions. Russia has given significant support to the effort to give up on the war option and to reach a cessation of hostilities, Yovanovic said at the airport prior to Kozirev's departure. Yugoslavia does not have a positive attitude towards the latest initiatives leading to an escalation of military tension in Bosnia, said Yovanovic. He underlined that Yugoslavia was influencing all the sides in the conflict and foreign factors to act with more responsibility. A political solution is the only solution worth striving for. A message to all, including the Serbs in the Republic of Srpska, after talks with the Russian Foreign Minister, is that a political solution is the only and the right solution to which one should strive, emphasized Jovanovic. Today, after two postponements, NATO's Council on Ambassadorial Level continued to review military plans for possible military activities in Bosnia, as well as the ways to apply the double key principle for activating NATO's air power in Bosnia. In accord with the conclusions of the Contra Group's expanded ministerial meeting held in London last week, the ambassadors of 60 NATO member countries are also reviewing the proposals for modifying the current command structure in case of possible outstrikes against Bosnian Serb positions. The Croatian army continues attacks, provocations and the build-up of new forces on the border with the Republic of Serb Kraina, announced the Republic of Serb Kraina's army headquarters. The Croatian army attacked Ramunic Gornje near Zadar and the Serb military forces at the same time reports on the build-up of Croatian forces at the Obrovac and Danish front and the movement of tank, tank units around Karlovac. The United Nations, who registered the build-up of Croatian forces, also confirmed this information. Ample force spokesman Chris Danis on this occasion said that this could deteriorate with the situation very soon, adding that the Croatian side had restricted the United Nations personnel movement in this area. According to him, several thousand Croatian soldiers have been deployed southwest and east of Karlovac, near the border with the Republic of Serb Kraina.